Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Summer. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys recent dragging of this uh, Nigerian comedian they call Tauma. So she posted this on Instagram that she honored invitation by the vice president of uh, the country, Nigeria. And we all know how since answers a lot of Nigerian youth believe in uh, boycotting, you know, stuff like this. So she attended this meeting and she posted this picture and uh, she captioned it. Yesterday, I had the chance of meeting with the vice president of the federation at the presidential villa, um, Abuja. I urged for the actual lifting of the Twitter ban and as well stressed on the issue of police brutality, which hasn't gotten any bit of change even after all the promises. I made the presidency understand how important Twitter is for the majority of us, um, in bracket, the youth, um, the SMEs and the very plenty others who make a living via that platform. The Twitter ban has made so many small scale businesses crash and disrupted many. I also made it known to the vice president that police brutality hasn't stopped and we the youth um, seem to be the target of that uh, institution. Um, end SARS was not just to end SARS alone. It was to end all forms of police brutality and irresponsibility. I hope the assurance I got yesterday will take effect immediately. Um, however, guys, we must know that we, the youth, make 70% of the population and we have the future in our hands. The next step now is to get your PVC. Um, hashtag end SARS. Um, hashtag end police brutality, hashtag lift Twitter ban. That's what she posted. And I'm just going to read to you guys the response she got for this. So this one says, all of una we go there, na money una go collect. All this caption, na life full there. Eti ya were. Oh, wow. You've gone crazy. That's what that says. You had the chance, you say. Were you the only one that was there? You bunch of ass leakers. Discuss which Twitter ban with the vice president. Really? Why was Mr. Macaroni absent? You are taking time to reply people that speak against your wish in the comment section and uh, calling some stupid. Don't worry now. Last, last, we go no way to una really go discuss there. Shebe, you remember as he be for una mentor. Uncle Desmond that time now, nothing he didn't know. And this one said, as in basically it means wonderful. He said, stomach infrastructures alias where Bele face group of hypocritical youths and comedians. If your visit to VP is for our own benefits, me, I think he meant to say Mr. Mr. Macaroni, who is another comedian, would be there. Shane, our VP ban Twitter. I be you know they this country to know that VP no get power since he resumed office. Now only bury a buari, they send them go. Tao I beg, no come explain waiting. We no ask you. Hold your peace. We no send Una to go negotiate in our behalf. They can set up questions and answer section like they did in 2015 when they were campaigning. Last last we know who they are back and we know Judas too. And this one says, so you went to talk to about Twitter ban and police brutality. Wow, wow, wow. She put laughing emojis. And then this one says, did you remember to ask him face to face who gave the order for answers like in massacre and not coming on social media ranting as if you guys truly care? So unfortunate, we don't even know who we are anymore as a people. Everybody fighting for their comfort zone. Nigerians are held D. This one says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show us a video evidence of everything you said in this write up. Another one says, posting video evidence could have makes us believe all the good points you stated. And this one says, I've never known the Nigerian government to be reasonable. So this meeting, they surprise me. If this isn't hypocrisy, if you claim to be so angry with them, I don't think you will grant any interview. If you lost a loved one, I don't think you'll have the strength to smile with them. Your intentions might be genuine. I can't speak for you, but as for the government, I can never trust them. Elections are near and all they need from you guys with a large audience is just what you guys just did. Before the end SARS protest, didn't some youths meet with them? Did it stop the shooting? Let's be rational, I beg. And this one says, you shall know we are not voting in case if you offer the tick wand of Naira bills, take it Flex it, but do not coin us to believe in 
in a system that no longer serves us. It's not right. Let's just de use and catch crews till the sleeping. Most of us are woke enough to know their leaders are puppets under the real shadow government. Disclaimer, this comment is pure crews with some twist of truth in it. In it. Another one says, really, why not tell us about the envelope you were given to destroy your fellow youths? Yeah, yeah, Britsyoshi. And this one says, you didn't post anything about answers not even on the anniversary she had the rolling eye emoji and all those emojis another one says oh well make we day here they watch you hope it's not what i'm thinking another one says so how much they give you after the meeting how we go share them another one says i love you but say you went to talk about answers in the lion's den Biko cut that crap another one says if i may ask why was macaroni not there macaroni is another nigerian comedian he says he obviously fights for the youth yes the fact that he's not even there means a, a whole lot just stating respectfully and this one says if you like collect money and endorse apc will cancel you alongside them another one says who send you now this one now hope say na sha waiting consign comedy cause no be on our behalf una go this one another one says did you ask them who ordered the shooting macaroni didn't suffer for you glutons to sit with some people on the round table you fall hand you fell off another one says i heard you people presented oshibanjo an award with a puking emoji vomiting emojis and says you all disgust me and this one says get our pvc and vote for who Weren't you scared to type this nonsense? Another one says, I beg, get out. Una go still collect money, yes or no? And this one says, how much them give you with laughing face emoji? And this one says, lie, because you guys were busted, you want to do damage control. And this one says, you failed to tell us about your international passport and driving license issue that have been dragging or they weren't part of the matter you tabled before the VP. And this one says, Just Lover just called you out. She called you Allah Tenuje. And then this one says, Hope the money you guys were given will last a lifetime. And this one says, Well done, no. I Allah Tenuje, you disappoint me, Sha. And this one says, all the respect just dropped to 10%. And this one says, Taoma, how many times did I call you? Please be careful. Don't you dare betray the youth of Nigeria. If this picture wasn't posted, my body meant to say bye, I think. GLB, you people wouldn't have posted. But I'll write this long caption. Sorosoke, who you won't deceive? Remember the lost souls. 20th of the 10th, 2020. Don't forget, thunder and lightning are real. And this one says, I am deceived anyways. The future of Nigeria has been sold. Post the video of what you discussed. We are wiser now. Twitter ban after how many months? Evil government. Anyways, I saw that and I wanted to share with you guys. This is one of those videos where I just want to read comments. I didn't want to just say anything. I just want to. I came across it. I said, let me come here and share it with you guys. And uh, I just wanted to read comments and nothing else. And as always, whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, and with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Uh, I actually mean listening this time. Um, until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.